again to Minecraft Dad and me, Paul McJay. So we're going to continue on the destruction theme like the last video. And to do so, we're going to use some viral commands I've seen online just to test to see if they work. Now, let's open up the command. It's on a set to repeat on these restores. So it's an execute command. Just type that in there. Now, in theory, when they shoot an arrow, they should basically disappear. Well, get rid of all the stone. I just leave all the good stuff left to mine, all the metals, all the golds. Ah, right. For some reason, this is not working. Hmm. So we'll have to go back to the command block and ch check if it still works. Now I think I know the reason why this is not working. Right, we need to go back and put the zero in there, which is missing. This should make it work. Oh yep, definitely it's for the little. It's got rid of a lot of stuff that it didn't have before. Let's go down and do it for real this time. Let's shoot an arrow and see if it works. Oh yes. So, as you can see, it's just leaving all the stuff that would usually have to dig really far down in Minecraft to make things. Seems to be working quite nicely. Just, <laughs> just destroying everything apart from the stuff we need. Excellent. Should really put some torches down here to see what's going on. Let's try that again in a sec. No. I know. I'm gonna try something else. Let's just see if we can make this even better. And get rid of all get rid of that replace stone command. I just every time we fire an hour it just makes a big hole of air. That'll just, just destroy everything. That would be cool. Let's go in, get rid of all this, replace stone and the zero. Bye bye. Now if we should shoot, <laughs> yeah, this is definitely working. Let's go back down to this big hole. Yep, now that's just obliterating it. Obliterating everything. Excellent. You could just dig yourself a massive tunnel to anywhere. One of the quickest ways I've seen to uh, destroy terrain in Minecraft in a useful way. Right, ciao for now on this one. Let's try another command. In a sec. Right, so now I'm going to try a command which apparently breaks your world and not in a good way. So <laughs> I'm not so keen to try this one out. Right, so we just need to place a command block and we need to input a command into it. So let's input that command and let chaos commence. Now, this is also an execute command, and on this one we're execute at identity uh, type equals ender underscore track and hyphen hyphen hyphen, and then we're gonna put the code summon underscore TNT. Or just summon end TNT. <laughs> um, now, essentially, what this should do. New Pavi is spawn an Ender Dragon. We should basically drop multiple blocks of TNT and destroy everything. And I think we should try it and see how it works. Well, as predicted, <laughs> it crashed the game. So I'm gonna have to load this thing up again. Here we 
go. Right. The mistake is, I spawned it. I'm trying to follow it underground, which entirely crashed the, the game. Right, let's go back up here. Oh no, look at all the destruction it's caused. <laughs> you can still hear the bloody thing flying around, causing mayhem. Right, I'm gonna have to find out which block it is. I'm surprised he's just left the command block, so I'll have to see which one is the correct one. <laughs> Make sure it hasn't been destroyed. Right, the only thing fair to do is spawn another end of track and, and see if it works. Without glitching and crashing the game. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. I can see it's just lagging like hell. None of the explosions have gone off yet. I think it's happening now. Yep. <laughs> Destruction below. Oh, the damn bugger's gone into water again. <laughs> the explosions are still going off underwater. It's brilliant. Right. No, it's not a good idea to follow him under there. Right. We'll try the next. Right. So this next. Viral trick is what I've seen is a, a tsunami, if you believe it or not. Now, I really wonder if this will actually work. So, as you can see, I spawned a new brand new world because the last one was bloody destroyed. So, I'm going to find a nice clear area and give myself a command block. Now, simple command so it's simply forward slash give your username. Command underscore block. Well, let's put my command block down. Whoop. And let's put the command in. So this command is essentially an execute command again. Uh, type arm underscore scan. There's a few tilders. A TP, which is a teleport command. A few more tilders. A minus one. This is the first uh, set of commands. Now, just make sure that's set to repeat to it purple and unconditional and also needs to be set to always active. Let's go like that. And now we need to place another command block. Make sure that's also set to repeat. And also <laughs> always active. There we are. And I'll just place the command. So essentially, this is a, another armor stand execute block. And what this should do is hopefully fill those coordinates in with water. Excellent. Now we need to fill the cover this up with stone. Now the reason I'm covering this up with stone is essentially when this tsunami comes. We don't want this. Uh, we don't want the water to break these command blocks. Right. Doesn't really matter how it is. Right. Next thing to do is get an armor stand, and we'll place the armor stand. And hopefully, oh, why it's not coming up? Let's go back. There we are. There is the bugger. Right. Let's find a nice space. Hopefully, we should put this down, and we should get a tsunami. Touch wood. Oh, bloody hell. Something's happening anyway. Right, well, that's. I don't know if it's lag, but that's not quite a tsunami. It's like a big, massive, giant block of water. Right, well, it keeps on moving anyway and covering everything. <clears throat> well, this one's not quite working. I think I did see on the video there was a clock set up to it, a clock circuit, but mm, that's something that I think I'll have to revisit and try again. Anyway, well, that concludes my test of these viral commands. See you again later. Ciao for now.